All right, here we go. Question number 18 in our college algebra, homework number six in my lab math. It says to find the logarithmic, <laughs> sorry, find the logarithm using the change of base formula. And notice here we have log base 9 of 19. Now, on most scientific or graphing calculators, you're going to have an LOG button. Let me make a note of that over here. If you have a button that just says LOG, you need to understand that that is uh, specifically for log base 10. And that's all that it's good for is log base 10. You also have an LN button for natural log, and that is only good for log base E. So with your calculator, you've got a choice of log base 10 or log base E. Here we need to calculate log base 9, and so that's why they're referencing the change of base formula. So our goal is to change our base of 9 into a 10 or an E so that we can use the calculator for that, okay? All right, so here's what the change of base formula says. It says I can convert any logarithm uh, into a fraction where it's going to be log base whatever, whatever you choose. So you could say log base 10 of 19 divided by log of the same base, log base 10 of 9. And does everybody see how that worked? The 19 goes in the numerator, and the base goes in the bottom. And that's the way I remember it, base in the bottom. Like a basement is under your house, the base is underneath the fraction. Now, it doesn't have to be log 10. It could be any base. So we could also say, uh, that log base 9 of 19 is ln 19 over ln 9. The only thing you have to remember is that the 19 goes up top and the base goes in the bottom, but whether you use log base 10 or natural log, either one, it doesn't matter. And so now, if I bring up my calculator, in the previous video, I was freaking out because there is no just regular log button. But now I feel better because everybody's going to have an LN button, and it doesn't matter whether you use log base 10 or natural log. So we're going to be able to use LN to get this done. And then I'm going to show you if you have my particular calculator, you've got a nice button that avoids having to use the change of base formula. All right, but first, the way that it wants it. We're going to use our fraction button, and we're going to say LN. 19, don't forget to close your parenthesis, over ln 9. And they want us to round to, what did it say? Four decimal places. So if I round that to four decimal places, then we have log base 9 of 19 is 1.34 zero one now look at that four places one two three four so this zero looks back and sees a seven and says i've got to turn into a one because this is five or bigger there's the answer rounded to four decimal places now to show you that the calculator that i use is freaking sweet we're going to clear that and use this button where you can actually put any base here we can say log base nine of 19 and we don't actually need the change of base formula if you have a calculator that does it for you. Now let's check and see if we're right, okay? In my lab math, 1.3401, bam, there you go. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below or you can text me and thanks for watching.